match formula. Uh, index match is just like VLOOKUP, however, VLOOKUP can only be used to fetch the data on the right part of the cells. Uh, however, index match can be used uh, for data uh, to pick up data from left side. So that is an advantage of using index match instead of VLOOKUP match. So uh, first before we uh, understand the index match, we need to understand the formula index. How does the index formula works? So first uh, I have a scenario here. There is a data in uh, the above which you can see here. I need to pull up the employee ID for Donna and the sales for Donna. So first scenario is when you have a manual column and row. So you need to insert you need to insert a row and column number manually just to understand the index function. So how can we do that? So I'll apply the formula. So equal to index. The array is the whole array. So you need to refer to the first condition which is here. So array is the full data source which is the so this will be the so this will be the array we will lock the data comma the row number so if you see Donna uh, if you start from here if you start from here Donna which which is the row number for Donna so one two three four five six so six is the row number and the column number for employee ID comma employee ID column number is one the first column so if we close the bracket and hit enter it will give us the employee code for Donna which is 132239 which appears here similarly we can do that for sales so this is just to give you understanding of the index function how index function works so uh, again we will select the array the full array here <coughs> and then lock it the row number as we have already used for Donna it is 6 the column number the column number for sales column number for sales is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so I'll enter 7 here and close the bracket and it will give me the sales for Donna so Donna has a sale of 3 lakh so which is appearing here so that is without using the match function just the index function now we'll use one match function to identify the rows because if the data is huge you will not be able to understand you will not be able to fetch uh, or uh, count the rows manually so you can use uh, using you can use uh, match in the index function so I'll just apply that index we'll select the full array we'll hit F4 and then on the row number we need to apply match function so either you can do it in a separate cell and then add it here or you can do it simultaneously so I'll just show you so we'll do a match what do we need to look up we need to look up Donna we'll lock the column comma where do we need to look in this C column starting from the uh, same row where we started the uh, which is the heading of the uh, columns so we'll lock it and then we'll do a 0 for an exact match close the bracket and then the column number column number for employee ID we know it's 1 so we'll just mention 1 here and close the bracket so it will give us the uh, employee ID for Donna which is 13239 which we have already seen here now uh, for the sales we could use the same formula so we can just copy paste the formula here and change the one as a cost one as a column number one as a column number for sales we need to go here go here and go here and here and update it as seven so you'll get the sales here so there is a third scenario to it wherein we can use double in uh, match so you don't have to count the column you don't have to call count the row it will give you the exact the exact column and row using match functions for both the scenarios so I'll help you with that as well so I'll do so we'll start with the index function the array here so we'll select the full array f4 cell comma 
the row number the row number of the third scenario will put up a we look up will will put will put up a index match for both the rows and columns so how can we do that so i'll just start so equal to index for the array we'll select the full data which is this f4 to lock it then do a match for the rows so for uh, we need to look donna lock the cells which is the column and we need to look donna here in the name column we'll select the range click f4 to lock it comma zero for an exact match then again comma for column as well we need to apply a match function so we'll do a match again now we need to look employee id which is this lock the cell comma where do we need to look at we need to look at in the heading so we'll select the heading row hit f4 to lock it comma zero bracket close and hit enter so once we do that you see the employee id appears here so we can use the same formula to fetch the sales we need need not to uh, alter anything we'll just copy the formula and we will paste it here and it it will automatically uh, pick up the sales value because it is linked to the headings so if we change the heading this will automatically change itself so that's how you apply indexes man match function thank you so much for watching the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you